Hi, here we are discussing about your project FPGA implementations of image line buffer to split and reconstruct a 3 cross 3 size of image pixels with using a 5 design architecture. The image line buffers are used in several kind of image processing applications particularly where the operations must be executed on a per line basics in order to optimize the efficiency. There are many typical applications associated with this technology including real-time video processing, image filtering, edge detections, computer visions, memory optimization, parallel processing, comparisons, algorithms and medical imaging. In the context of image and video processing applications, the use of image line buffer may contribute to the optimizations of the operations when dealing with a continuous stream of frames uh, processed in the real time. In the context of the image processing, conventional process are often used for tasks like as a image filtering and blurring. These operations are typically carried out on a per pixel basics wherein the value assigned to each pixel is determined by the value of it adjustant pixels. The proposed touches was created using a first in first output that is a 5 based architecture aiming to decrease the number of logic sizes and complexity in VLSI design architectures. The conversations of the design image to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to image format is accomplished using MATLAB GUI applications. These applications also facilitate the comparisons of peak signal to noise ratio and SSIM values. Okay, The internal architecture of the systems is implemented using a Verilog hardware descriptions language. Additionally, uh, the simulations is conducted using a modelisms. Furthermore, the system's performance uh, parameters including area, delay and power consumption are compared with those of the Xilinx Vertex 5 FGA. Now we can verify the architectures and designs okay so here this design is fully based for the image line buffer so this image line buffers will be used for a lot of applications uh, to split the image into three cross three uh, pixel size that is a three cross three matrix okay after that we need to reconstruct that image into the three cross three matrix okay so here uh, we are taken this kind of images okay so this is uh, come with uh, 128 cross 128 or uh, uh, some other multi-dimensional resolution also we can possible to take it okay so here uh, we can possible to split uh, this image to uh, 3 cross 3 okay so matrix sizes okay so here this is a 20 129 cross 129 so 129 cross 129 means uh, uh, it will come with uh, uh, 16,641 pixel size okay so here 129 divided by 3 means uh, it's a 43 so totally uh, 43 blocks in the row okay so here we are calculated 43 cross 43 block sizes okay totally 1849 block sizes available okay so we need to split this 1849 blocks okay uh, and it will be stored into some other memory or any 54 okay then we need we need to reconstruct this uh, 3 cross 3 again into the original image okay so this is a flow of this work we are handled here okay so here here this is a flow diagram so, okay so initially uh, we have used a matlab gui uh, to convert a image to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to image format so first of all we need to convert the uh, image into the hexadecimal okay so using file reading code we need to uh, read this hexadecimal file and load it into the memory and the memory output given to the controller with a fifo buffer okay so here we are used as a 3 fifo design architecture with a 128 cross 8 or 256 cross 8 whatever sizes we required we can possible to use this uh, for this architecture the 54 design architectures we have used two different reference paper okay so this is a area time efficient streaming architectures for fast and brief detector okay so here they are used some row buffer to split the image into the 5 cross 5 uh, pixel size 
sorry 6 cross 6 pixel size so for 6 cross 6 they are used uh, 6 row buffers ok so each row buffers contains a 5 4 architectures ok so here uh, the initial uh, incoming pixels ok so one incoming pixels at every clock cycle right so this incoming pixels directly given to the first row buffer this uh, row buffer output again given to the second row buffer ok so here the first row buffer output uh, after uh, the sixth cycle okay it will be come with the uh, the last row buffer here example you can see the six uh, row buffer architectures so once we are loaded the data uh, around 0 to 127 okay totally 128 pixels okay so after six clock cycle the first row buffer data okay so here this output of first row buffer given to the second row buffer and second row buffer output given to third row buffer okay totally six after six clock cycle okay sorry six cycle uh, we will get a output the first row buffer here and second row buffer here and third row buffer here and fourth fifth and sixth okay so then we have started the read operation for each row buffer at the same time okay we will get a uh, parallel output okay so parallel output means in the image okay so in the image the first row the sixth row we will get okay this is a first clock cycle and this is a second clock cycle and this is a third clock cycle and this is a fourth fifth okay sixth okay totally it's come with a six cross six matrix sizes okay so as per that uh, we are calculated this row buffers okay into the uh, our architecture okay so here we have designed this architecture with using a uh, 3 cross 3 uh, image line buffer okay with the support of a vertical of HTL scoring okay so here uh, initially we start with uh, the file reading code memory model okay and image line buffer and uh, memory model again this is a writing memory and this is a final writing file writing process okay so here image line buffer means it's a top model okay so here we are used a encoder and as well as a decoder okay so this simulation model uh, we have done here okay so here you can analyze uh, this is a pixel data one two three uh, from the FIFO buffer okay so here you can analyze it the image data okay so this is a filling clock cycle so once the first buffer will be filled okay so the pixel uh, 1 uh, will give acknowledgement and pixel 2 and pixel 3 okay so after this completion process here only we are started the data okay so here you can analyze it 93 93 94 90 so that is the first data and 89 88 89 okay so this is the second data so here uh, you can verify the data after the image will be loaded the input image output will be generated here okay okay so here you can verify this parallelly the first data is 93 okay after 129 that is a 130th data is 94 so it will be placed in the pixel data 2 okay and uh, one thirty plus 129 will get 259 259 the value is 90 okay so here uh, this process means it's a first row second row and third row so column wise we are reading the data okay so here this is a second column 3 cross 3 and third column 3 cross 3 and fourth fifth sixth so each 3 cross 3 it will produce the data with a pixel enable okay so this pixel data 1 2 3 with the pixel enable okay we are splitted here 
and it will be given to the decoder okay and here the decoder process will be available and again we are written a data uh, here with a different address locations okay the first data 93 the first data is 93 second data is 94 okay you can verify the right data okay and third data is 90 okay so it will be written in the different address locations okay so with the support of address counter okay the first write address uh, will return into the zero okay and second uh, address uh, data will return into 129 and third will return into 258 okay and uh, this output we can verify in output hex okay so here we can verify this in output hex okay so we will get a same data whatever we are given a input okay so this is a uh, model uh, for a reference okay so we can use this model for uh, image gaussian filters or any image applications we can use this and we can reconstruct this coding into uh, 5 plus 5 size and uh, 6 plus 6 okay whatever size you are needed uh, we can reconstruct this code okay it's a simple job only so here you can verify it the same input image whatever we are given the same output data we are given in the output hex file okay so here we can analyze it in the gui okay okay so now we can see one more image so this flower okay now we will run the simulation process again okay so once it's, it's finished we will load the data output hex okay we'll get a the same results with the psnr and ssn okay so here you can verify it so input image hex and output image hex okay so the both data will be same and it will be loaded again okay and this work we have synthesized in uh, xilinx uh, vertex 5 lx50 fpga okay so here you can analyze this number of slice registers number of uh, occupied slices uh, lutus okay io base okay everything and synthesis report you can verify delay okay 3.847 nanosecond and you can verify the rtl schematic so this is the rtl schematic so image line buffer and image decoder so this image line buffer will have 354 design architecture okay and uh, this is the image uh, line buffer decoder okay and uh, power report you can analyze tools explore analyzer okay 0 0.531 and uh, we have a written abstract document for this project okay so here this is abstract uh, block diagram image line buffer details with notes okay so, so you can verify it so finally come up with the literature survey and references okay thank you